Welcome to this build of a 48 inch wingspan Tomboy Senior. Now in previous videos we've got the wing finished and in the very last video we got the fuselage sides pulled together and the fuselage in a pretty much advanced state of, uh, of construction. Now in that last video I said the next video we're going to be finishing off this fuselage getting the uh, cockpit finished around here and the wing mounting and also the cheeks for the um, e either side of the engine uh, bearers. But it occurred to me that actually there's one thing I need to do before I finish off the fuselage and that is in relation to the engine. Now the engine in this is going to be a, a Mills 1.3 diesel engine and that's what is specified on the plans. Lovely vintage model, 1950s engine, perfect. But this Mills hasn't got a fuel tanker. Originally it would have had a little dome fuel tank. Now I managed to get myself a repro tank and lid which I can fit onto that but I don't know if that's going to be big enough. I mean this was possibly designed at the time for free flight so you launch it, it would take it up and then the engine wouldn't last that long and it would glide back down again. Now I have no idea how long this will last. So in this video I'm going to be running the engine and as a fuel tank I'm going to be using this graduated syringe which will hold up to 11 mil of fuel. And I, I know this tank holds about 8 mil and what I want to do is I want to determine how long say I'm going to put 10 mil of fuel in there and I want to determine exactly how long that will last so because when I've got this finished it's going to be radio control two channel I would like to get around five minutes six minutes seven minutes of flight time as a maximum if I want less I can put less fuel in but I don't want to launch it get a couple of minutes and then it be coming back down to uh, to land so I want to get an idea of how much fuel this uses and whether this tank which holds 8 mil is going to be big enough so as I said I'm going to be using a graduated syringe as a fuel tank I'm going to get it clamped up in the test stand I'll put 10 mil in it and we'll see how long that runs. I'm dead interested because I have absolutely no idea whether that's going to last just two or three minutes or whether I'm going to get 10 minutes out of it. So, oh, and the prop I'm going to be using, at least first off with this, is going to be a 9x6, and this is a 9x6 master air screw prop. So, I'll go and get the test stand set up and we'll see how much fuel this uses and whether this tank's big enough. If it's not big enough then I either need to think about getting a, a bigger bowl that I can have below here and so still using this repro lid or maybe fitting a fuel tank within the fuels, fuselage itself in this uh, central section of the cockpit perhaps. I don't really want to fit a fuel tank but if I'm going to I need to do it now before I start enclosing all this in balsa and then have to open it all up again to put a tank in. So anyway, I'll go and get the test stand set up and we'll see how it goes and how much fuel this uses. Right, well I've got this lovely old mills clamped in the test stand and I've got it connected to a syringe through which I can measure the fuel consumption. The syringe will take 11 mil and I'm going to put 10 in and then once it's started we'll set the timer going and see how long the engine runs. Now I've got this Model Technics D2000 fuel which I'm going to be running it on so let's see how it goes.
as expected, this lovely old Mills 1.3 ran beautifully. I do love running these old engines. And it was dead interesting to see what the fuel consumption was using this um, plastic syringe, graduated plastic syringe, which as I said, it's an 11 mil syringe and I put in 10 mil of fuel, made sure I filled the tube the, the, from the syringe to the engine, topped it back up to 10. So I could just gauge it exactly for that 10 mil. It almost seemed like when the engine was colder and getting sort of uh, more into its stride, it was using more fuel than when it has totally warmed up and running really sweet. Not sure how that works, but it, it seemed to go down quicker to start with and then slow down a little bit. Maybe that was just my perception. But it's really, really interesting because 10 mil of fuel allowed this engine to run for four and a half minutes. That's a pretty good, uh, a pretty good run time. And that told me that this replacement tank I've got, this, um, it's, a, it's a, new, uh, a new tank that holds eight mil of fuel, will probably allow this engine to run for, well, well over three minutes anyway, maybe three and a half minutes, something like that, maybe even a little bit longer. Which actually, for the first flight, when I'm trying to get it set up, three and a half minutes is quite a long time. So I'm really tempted to actually go with this Repro tank. What I've also done is I've made myself a bigger tank, and this is a 15 mil tank, and that will fit on there quite nicely, and it will still fit between the engine bearers at the front of the fuselage. And the way I've made this tank is I've just got myself uh, some dropper bottles, just ordered them off eBay. You know, they, you use them for all kinds of things. They're like the ones you do for your, for your eye drops and things like that. I actually use these for uh, my after run oil, which I keep in my uh, field bag. And I always keep one in the workshop that I use for when I'm building up engines. But I cut off the top, I used a, a really sharp scalpel on a block and just twisted it round so I got a nice level cut. And that's made a really good 15 mil, uh, yeah, 15 mil tank. So if 10 mil allowed me to run for four and a half minutes, well, what are we talking, four, five, six, nearly seven minutes, maybe a little bit more on that. And don't forget, I don't need to put as much in. So. This has been a really, really useful exercise in gauging how big a tank I need, how long a run time. And like I said, I'm gonna use this Repro tank to start with, and then we can switch it out if we need greater flight time. Anyway, I hope you found that useful and interesting. I, I certainly have, because I had no idea how much fuel this would use. So anyway, thanks very much for watching, and uh, come back and see how we get on in building this lovely tomboy senior.